Hello everyone, welcome back to Piedra Designs. This week I've got a couple of pieces of Aspen. I thought what I'd try to do is turn up a couple of little weed vases. Now, being from Colorado, I have to be careful talking about weed vases. I'm not talking about the marijuana weed. I'm talking about uh, dandelions, uh, whatever uh, little wildflowers might be growing things your kids are going to pick and bring in for mama, uh, dried flowers, silk flowers, uh, various other fake flowers. These are green pieces, and the purpose, what we're going for, is just a very simple shape on them, and because they're green, uh, once they're dried up, they are going to crack uh, the bark may or may not stay on it may come off as things dry out but we're going for a rustic look so i've got like i said i've got uh, two pieces right now uh, let's go ahead and get started first thing i'm going to do is get a tenon turned up on one end so that then i can hold that in the chuck We'll go ahead and get the tenon turned up on this second piece before we take the step centers out. With these types of little things you don't have to turn a tenon and use the chuck but I don't have a drill press in my shop here for drilling out the center so I need to be able to drill that out on the lathe here so that's why I am turning a tenon so I can hold it in the chuck All right, so I tried sanding that, but this stuff is so wet, I'd go through a hundred sheets of sandpaper trying to get that sanded, but I guess it isn't that vital since what we're going for is rustic. Uh, it is fairly smooth as it dries out. If someone wanted to sand off a little bit of the fuzzies, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, gonna go ahead and drill out the center now. I've got a one inch 
uh, Forstner bit in there. Got the lathe speed at about 490. Okay, so this is drilled out. We're about four inches deep in there. Okay, so what I am going to do is put one coat of sanding sealer on there just to kind of slow down that drying a little bit. Uh, never having worked with Aspen like this before, I'm not sure how prone it is to cracking anyways so i want to slow that drying down just a touch and this coat of sanding sealer will do that but again the the ultimate goal that we're going for here is a rustic looking vase so we don't want it absolutely perfect that would defeat the purpose but not knowing how the aspen is going to just how bad it's going to crack I don't want it to this small of a piece to crack completely in two. So our last step on this then is to turn this back around and get that tenon off of there. And for the base of that, I've just made sure I've got a concave on the base. And then once that thing's down to that small, I'll turn the speed down here. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and get the other one mounted up.
All right, so not sure if I just forgot to turn the camera on as I was uh, finishing up that last one, but we've got them both done. Here's our Aspen Rustic Weed Vases, and I say weed, not intending that to mean marijuana, intending it to mean more uh, wildflowers, anything that might be growing around your place that little kids or grandkids are going to pick, bring in for you. Uh, like I said before, you could put dried flowers in it, silk flowers, uh, any other fake flowers. But the purpose of these is turn them while they're green and let them go ahead and crack or warp, uh, whatever they're going to do. Uh, the, this piece was cut uh, this time of year, springtime, uh, so whether the bark will stay on remains to be seen. The general rule of thumb is if you want the bark to stay on a piece, you need to cut it in the dead of winter. Uh, but every tree species is different, and even within the species, every tree is different. So maybe it'll stay on, maybe it won't. Um, these came out at about seven and three quarter ish tall and depending on where you measure they're about two and three quarter three inches in diameter obviously uh, the the bark edge part of that isn't perfectly round uh, the second one i do like the shape of that a little bit better i got a little a little bit more of a taper in here it's a little bit more slender this one's a little blocky looking but again when we're going for rustic we can't make too pretty uh inside because this was so green i've got a lot of fuzzies in there i'll give it a few days for that to dry out and then i'll go back uh with some sandpaper on a dowel and sand out some of those uh horrible fuzzies on the inside of that but anyways that's the project for this week if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to the channel. From Piedra Designs, thanks for watching.